anything full price. What else could I um, talk about when it comes to yardage? Um, also, baby fabrics. I have a stash down in here. I'm going to do um, a tour of my craft room. I know on my home setting channel I did a tour um, a couple of years back because I also was doing um, DIYs and sewing things on that channel. And then I decided to come over here and start a whole nother channel geared towards um, just um, crafting. But um, so I need to do another video on my craft space, my sewing room. And um, baby fabrics, again, I have a stash of baby fabrics down here. I know you probably can't see it, but I have a stash of baby fabric. I have a stash of minky fabric. Also, minky, uh, minky, fleece, flannel, never pay full price, especially for minky. Wait till that minky go on sale. I promise you, you'll be happy that you waited till it go on sale every other week. 40% off, wait for the sale, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think, I think, I think I covered everything when it came to this yardage. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, uh, video on how to do your stash with the yardage. And also, let me um, say this. When you're dealing with yardage, yardage is very, very good for your backing. Now, I'm not saying you can't use your yardage to create whatever blocks you want to create. No, you can do that too. But when I buy yardage, I buy most of my yardage for my backing. And I use my pre-cut for whatever drop building or whatever I want my top to look at, look like or whatever pattern that I'm working on. That's what I use my pre-cut for most of the time. Okay? And most of the time I use my yardage for the backing all right but that's not to say you can't use it for your top so um i hope this video was informative to you and i hope this is inspiring you to build your um, fabric stash so you can get out here and start sewing i don't care what you make <laughs> it doesn't have to be a quilt it's just sew something create something make something beautiful for someone else um most of the, most of the things that we as crafters do it's either it's either going to be a gift so, for someone or we're going to take it to a market or an event to sell. That's just what we do, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to um, Crazy Crafting Quilts with Essie K. And I will see you guys on the next video. And remember, people will flock you, baby. See you guys real soon. Peace.